Here's game 338. Got a dead end, so we're not going to go that way. And we're at Farley Drive and Farley Road. This looks very southern. Got front play on that car, so this could be eastern Texas. Possibly. <clears throat> Let's head south on Farley Road here. Oh, that's an Alabama plate, 100%. No denying it. Clear as day. We're in Alabama. Let's keep going on Farley Road here. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Ooh, it was pretty hilly here. I was not expecting that. But let's see if I can get a good view to show, show off the plate. There are honestly a lot of metros in Alabama, all smaller ones. This could really be anywhere. Probably not, like, probably not Mobile or Daphne. It's, it might be Birmingham. But yeah, look at that. This is a nice view. Yeah, look at that. I wonder, this must be closer to the Appalachians then. Yeah, it probably is. I would say it's probably just Birmingham, but the problem is, believe it or not, after all these games, I've only been Birmingham once, considering how big of a city it is. But, you know, this does seem like a bigger metro, so it's definitely possible. Birmingham's finally getting its time. Tip Top Grill. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Shades Crest Road Historical District. Hoover Historical Society. I think Hoover's a suburb of Birmingham. Yes, down here. So we've got to be up here then. Shades Crest Road, here it is. And then we got to find Farley... Gotta be somewhere around here. You just got a 2763. Did you get screwed over like I did when I was in that uh, Six Flags? <laughs> that was raging deucing. Oh, there's another Shades Crest. Hold on. Oh, which one is it? There's a lot of Shades Crest. How do I get a 5,000? It's just me being a geography nerd. I spend too much time on this. Here's Farley Road. Uh, okay, so we're up here. I had another part of it's patience too, like sometimes rounds can be obnoxiously long, but sometimes it's worth the time when you get that nice 5,000. So, yeah, we're in the southern suburbs of Birmingham. Now it's round two. And yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I've gotten Birmingham. This kind of looks like Idaho, or Utah. Oh, you just got Gen 1. That is tragic. Yeah, I'd agree. Idaho or Utah. You got the number of streets that help out. 800 east and 300 south. And, ooh, that kind of looks like an Idaho plate. I'm going to go north, though, to figure out where we're at. Mountain Crest High School. I don't know if that's a suburb of wherever, but, yeah, it's got to be Utah or Idaho. Oh, it's Utah. It's uh, Utah Highway 165. Um, oh, we're approaching Logan. Okay, we might be in Logan, then. Main Street and 800 East, and we're on 165. Let's check out Logan. Yeah, look at this. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't match up. Or does it? Let's see if this changes to 800 East eventually. It still says Main Street down here. It does. City sharing a name with me. Oh, so your name's Logan. Got it. 
guess Colorado at first and then said nope. Yeah, it'd be like that. Some of these mountain states look similar to each other. Alright, 800 east and 300 south is where we're at. Um, where is that? Oh, it's a bit further south here. Here it is. There we go, 23 yards away. And we're up in the Logan area. Round three, okay, this is Florida. Florida is about the most obvious in this game, either Florida or Hawaii or Alaska. All right, we got US 41 and West Ellicott Circle. Well, since it's west, let's start heading east. Looks Orlando. I don't think it's Orlando just simply because of the fact it's US 41. I'm thinking it could be Naples or Fort Myers. Got Midway Boulevard now. Because US 41 starts in Miami and then it runs along the Gulf Coast of Florida. Oh, Tarpon Boulevard. I feel like I've seen that. Or there's just a ton of Tarpon names here. Port Charlotte Boulevard. Okay, now we know which area to look in. Down here. So is this seriously going to be in the Punta Gorda area again? We've gotten that a lot lately. Let's see. It didn't say the Tamiami Trail though. That's the thing. Uh, here's Port Charlotte Boulevard and here's Tarpon. So yeah, we are indeed here. And uh, started here at Ellicott. Like right at the second house here. There we go, four yards away. So once again, we are in the Punta Gorda area. Crazy. All right, round four. Farm to market, that means we're in Texas. And we're right along the highway here. Yeah, this I think this is the third stream in a row with uh, Punta Gorda. Alright, let's jump onto this highway if we can. Oh, this is the highway. Wait, no it's not. Wait, hold on. Got high farm to market 3248. This must be like a brand new highway then. What'd that say back there? 550? Let's go over here and check it out. Five fifty toll. Alright, so we're on a Texas Highway five fifty at the moment. This seems like a brand new highway. Can't seem to figure out where though. We're clearly on the edge of the suburbs here. It says toll road ends, so maybe we're going away from the city if we're going this direction. This definitely could be McAllen. McAllen or Brownsville, for that matter. Definitely has that real Grand Valley feel to it. Let's see if there's a 550 down there. That's a freeway, so it'd be pretty clear and obvious on the map. And yes, look at this down here. We're down by Brownsville. So let's go back to the start and take a look at the name of this road here. Rancho del Sol. That looks like a school or something down there. Yeah, we're right down by the Mexico border. Is this it? Yes it is, here we are. 10 yards away, down in Brownsville. Now for round five, we're in West Virginia. You got the West Virginia State Highway sign, you got the West Virginia on the interstate, and it's Highway 7 too, so this could be Morgantown most likely. Fairmont, Washington, Pennsylvania. I think I've... No, wait a second. I've been at this intersection before. 
Like, I think I've literally spawned here before. Because this is a uh, Highway 7, I believe. Because, yeah. Or no, it's US 19. Okay, hold on. We got this. Wash oh yeah, Washington, Pennsylvania. That's right. It's down here. So we are probably by Morgantown. Yeah, here's the 7. So we've... Hold on. What's the name of this road again? There's 19 and 7. And then this road just takes you to Highway 79. Tank truck says Morgantown on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm o dramatically overthinking this. Takes me a Gen 1. Yeah, I want to avoid that at all costs. Um, where could it be then? Because here's... Oh, it's over here. Look at that. That is tricky. It's got to be. Just the way the road runs. Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, are we close to this bridge? What's the name of this road here just for, uh, sake of seeing it? Oh, there is a road there, and I'm assuming it's that Emmett Drive. And it is. Perfect. Right in Morgantown. Alright. Round one was Birmingham. Round two was Logan, Utah. Round three was Punta Gorda. Round four is Brownsville. And round five was Morgantown. Very interesting set of metros for this game. I'm liking the uniqueness to it. Alright, so we're in Birmingham for the second time, and that's what I was saying. Very underrepresented metro. And then round two is up in Logan, Utah. And that's the first time there. And with that, we have hit every single metro in Utah. And then round three was Punta Gorda. And that is the fourth time there. And the third time in the last week. And then round four was Brownsville. That's the fourth time there as well. And then round five was Morgantown. That's the sixth time there. Now complete game 338.